more and more convinced. Uh, this is something I have theorized uh, recently, actually. I am more and more convinced that the position of the mouth, that the adjustment of the mouth and of the phonatory apparatus while producing comprehensible words in a determined language has no component whatsoever in the comprehensibility of the word or, or of the vowel itself. I think it's just a um, convention, it's, in a, it's an adjunctive, it's an adjunction, it's, a, it's an addition. Um, it, it's something more, it's something spare that our body does to make the words more comprehensible, to give them a visual component. But I don't think that the visual component is crucial for the acoustic comprehension, and in particular for the singers, it's a damage. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that we don't need our face and our muscles to speak and be comprehensible, which is why ventriloquists can be perfectly comprehended without moving the muscles, which is why we can be comprehend comprehended when we are asleep talking and we are barely moving anything. And when we're singing, I think that is crucial. I don't think our face would have any particular form when we are speaking or singing, and that the visible mechanism, the outside mechanism of the spoken phonation is just a convention, a visual convention that goes in parallel with the acoustic comprehension, but I don't think it's physiologically necessary. I don't think that the vowels, that the vocalic volumes are physically produced inside the body and in particular inside our head, mouth, throat. I am more and more convinced about that. So whenever you are singing, do not make the words, do not make me see the words. Embrace mm -hmm. the words, but do not make them because it would completely mess up your legato. Fia per lui cagiona di riso. Fia per lui cagiona di riso. What is barely necessary, the consonants, the ones that sound with the consonants, with the vowels, those are necessarily to be made. Those are physical. Those are physical yeah. spasms of the mm -hmm. body, and it's really hard to make them without moving a muscle. But we are very influenced by the fact that some, when someone's speaking, we see them speaking and we can read their lips, but it is possible to speak or sing and be comprehensible without moving at all, especially for the vowels. So whenever you don't have a double consonant, I shouldn't see a double consonant, whereas Italian single consonants are very plain and sweet. Whenever you don't have a mandatory doubling or a double spelled consonant, I shouldn't see you moving at all. Is it clear? Yes, yeah, very clear. I, I keep telling my students the same thing, but I, I know I still have habits. 